If I had to use one word to describe Lindy, I would say that uh, she's a force. Tenacious. If I had to describe Lindy in one word, it would be diligent. Lindy is very spontaneous. Feisty. Uh, gregarious. They say it's good to be queen, but when you're queen of the ad club, it's not always the case. Indeed, weary can be the head that wears the crown. But Lindy Adams never took her service, either as an advertising executive or as a driving force in AAF, as a burden. She attacked it with zest, enthusiasm, and a unique style. She still does. Lindy is exuberance personified, and we love her for it. She's, she's got a great sense of humor. Uh, I always just like to you know see her at parties and, and hear her laugh. Lindy defines fun. If Lindy's around, there is a good time to be had. She is enthusiastic, uh, loud, wonderful, just in the, the, the passion she brings to life. Uh, uh, not, just, uh, not just advertising, but everything. If Lindy's around, there's a laugh around. It's going to be fun. She never took herself or what she was doing too seriously. She was always uh, willing to cut up she was always willing to go have a drink. She was always willing to, you know, to, to have fun with whatever it was that she was doing. Lindy loves to tell the story uh, about when she and I first met, um, I had a real problem with Addie's. I thought Addie's was an institution which was based a lot, around a lot of big egos. And I said once, I would never judge one of those things and be one of those egotistical assholes. And she said, oh, I'm pretty sure you will one day. And she was probably right on both accounts. <laughs> I became one of those egotistical assholes and I've judged probably now a hundred times. But she was right that being part of Addie's uh, and, and taking a role and also being influenced by your peers in the Addies uh, and learning from uh, the folks that are better than you, learning from some folks that aren't as good as you is a great way to grow. And it, it changed my career literally. And she loves to tell the story about how she got me to be eventually National Addie Chair, which is crazy. Lindy, I remember, was the first person I ever saw use a Macintosh. And she had this skinny little Macintosh and a uh, tiny little screen on it. And she would be sitting there working on that thing uh, every day when I came down to Associated Advertising for a project. I met Lindy more than 30 years ago when I was hired as a copywriter for Associated Advertising. Lindy was our account executive there. I actually started my career in Lindy's closet. And every now and then when Lindy had a meeting, she would actually come and shut me into the closet. So, you know, that, that was where I, I first met Lindy. We had some great times at Associated though. I mean, uh, uh, we would travel together to do pitches and, um, it was, it was an amazing experience. She was really a neat person to meet so early in my career. I've known Lindy a long time, way back in Ad2 and AdFed. Well, uh, what people probably don't know about Lindy uh, is really how transformational she was within the Amer American Advertising Federation here in Roanoke. Um, when I came up through Ad2, AdFed was so weak and had so little money that Ad2 was the stronger group. And Lindy personally pulled a lot of folks from Ad2 and folks that weren't involved and made them part of AdFed and, and help, helped AdFed grow into to what it is today. And there was a time when AdFed could have gone away because Ad2 was so strong, which is crazy. It's unusual for a market. Uh, but people probably just don't know how she changed AdFed and, and marketing here in Roanoke. A lot of us have worked in certain capacities, whether it was an Ad2 or AdFed on different board positions. And when you work on a board position and get involved with the club, it becomes a job and it takes up a lot of your time. Lindy never gave up. She kept working through Ad2 and Ad Fed and went on to do many things on the national level. And she was the only person I knew that really just gave so much of herself to that organization. For a long time, Lindy was the ad club. You know, she was uh, the president of the ad club and she recruited me to be on the board of directors. She liked scotch and I like scotch too. So we arrived in DC and she told me she was going to take me to a bar. And she told me I had to get dressed up. I couldn't wear just jeans or shorts or anything like that. So. I got dressed up and we went to this bar and it was at the Willard Hotel. And we walked into the Red Robin Bar 
sat down at the bar. The bartender looked at her and said, doers and water. And she said, exactly. And she hadn't been there in four years, but this bartender <laughs> remembered her. If you watch Cheers and you see people, and you see Norm walk into Cheers, and everybody goes, Norm, Lindy was literally that at the Elephant Walk. But she was a guild member of the Elephant Walk bar at Tanglewood Mall. And as a matter of fact, she was such a good customer that it didn't matter if the place was packed to the rafters, they had a chair set aside for Lindy. She could always walk in and sit down. Very few people in this market have had as long and a ver as varied career as Lindy has. Um, you know, she's been a sales rep. She's been an, uh, she's been an AE for a, a leading agency. Now she's the president of an agency. Uh, and her work with the American Advertising Federation, not just locally, but across the district and across the nation, is something that very few people in the, in, in the country have done. Lindy is one of those people that I feel very strongly about that, that embarrasses me that I somehow accidentally won the silver medal before she did because she was so transformational in my career. She made my career what it is in many ways by inspiring me to be better and getting me involved in Addies. And, and I just can't believe that Lindy has waited this long to win it because she has worked so hard. She's worked for decades, sorry Lindy, many decades in this industry. She's been so influential and she's helped so many of us make careers. And that contribution of passion to helping younger folks grow is one of the greatest gifts anybody in advertising can give. She's given more to others than she's taken for herself. And I think that makes her an amazingly deserving recipient. She's honest. Uh, she's always willing to help me whenever I have a question, of whether it's about my career or whether it's about advertising in general or things that trends and things that are going on in the region. She's been there for me personally when my mother was in the hospital in the middle of the night and she came to the hospital and waited with me in the emergency room. So she's kind of been a surrogate mother to me in a lot of ways. She's a very intelligent lady and she's, uh, she's a really has a good soul, a good heart and we argue and we yell and we have fun and we laugh and we kiss and we hug and we kick each other but at the end of the day we just admire each other and most of all we respect each other. Lindy is very deserving of this award because of all of the work that she's done for the Advertising Federation of the Roanoke Valley for many, many, many years. She's also been a very hard worker for the third district for AdFed. She always got the job done. It wasn't always pretty, but uh, she, she was a, a doer. You know, she organized the ad club. She brought in talented people who ended up having a lot of influence in the advertising community. And she did the Addies by herself, or, or she was in char chairman of the Addies for a couple of years, I believe, and always did a good job with that. So she, she was a doer, she got things done. Lindy, congratulations on winning the Ad Federation Silver Medal Award. You know, you make the fifth person from the old AA team to, to win this award. So congratulations, best to you lady. You've done so much for the advertising community, you've done so much for me, and I appreciate the fact that you gave me the start in the advertising community and that you uh, sort of were a mentor for a while, and I, heartily congratulate you and think you're very deserving of this honor and I'm really looking forward to seeing how snookered you're going to get tonight. Congratulations mama. Linda you know I love you and uh, I know that we yell and we argue and we laugh and down through the years we've just had the best time and well you deserve this so well and for so long so I'm glad that tonight it's finally happened. Love you. Lindy. You know I love you. Congratulations. It's about time. Lindy Adams, you're one of a kind. Lindy Adams, you're one of a kind. Lindy Adams, you're one of a kind. I mean that sincerely. Lindy Adams, you are absolutely one of a kind. Lindy Adams, you are one of a kind.